we analyze podcasts such as the Joe Rogan Experience and the Diary of a CEO to see the techniques and methods they've used to become so successful. With over 1 million podcasts on the market, you need to stand out. In this video, we'll tell you exactly how to do so. I think having a unique idea is arguably the most important point. With there being so many podcasts for people to choose from, you need to give people a reason to listen to yours. Having an idea for a show that is unique will give people a reason to listen. But how do you make yours unique? Well, the majority of podcasts are interview shows. So if you do choose to do one, try to add some sort of twist. Could you ask very specific, intricate type questions? Could you make your shorter than most so it's set aside from the rest of the industry? Just choosing a format different to the interview show will make your idea different to most, but coming up with something completely different will help. I've mentioned Adam Lizagor's podcast before, All Consuming. It's a unique idea executed well. Try and take inspiration from this type of idea. We're suckers for all the bullshit that's advertised to us on Instagram, so we decided to make a podcast about it. It's called All Consuming. Consuming. Each week we order one of these bullshits and we try it out for ourselves. And then we talk about it for like an hour. With the ability to record good audio quality for under £100, there is no excuse not to stand out with good audio quality. Purchase a good microphone that plugs into your laptop such as the Rode NT USB Mini and get recording. But now everyone is recording podcasts remotely. Using Zoom doesn't give you good enough audio quality, which is why you should use Riverside.fm to record your podcast to have the audio quality directly from the source, i.e. yours and your guest microphone. Make sure you add some production quality to your podcast by using sound effects and music. Most podcast listens come from people that are already subscribed to your podcast feed. Usually this is when the episode has been shared to them by one of their peers. But you need to do everything you can to make sure people want to share your podcast. Focusing on making it the best content it can be can pay dividends here. Make it engaging, have chemistry, and remember charisma over content. People want to be entertained. What could you do beyond your podcast that could intrigue your audience? I know a lot of people use Patreon or Supercast to make additional content. Other podcasters build out entire separate systems to supplement their podcasting content. Take Sorted Food, for example. If you'd like to sign up to PAX for free and give it a try, along with all the other apps and podcasts in the Sorted Club, then head to sorted.club forward slash try PAX for free. To take your podcast to an even further level, turn your audio podcast into a video one. Again, you can use Riverside.fm to record each episode remotely with the highest quality. Not only does this help your podcast stand out, but it actually opens you up to opportunities to reach more listeners and create extra content. Once you've recorded that video, you can turn them into clips on social media and post the whole thing to YouTube. One of the best examples of successfully videoing a podcast is the Joe Rogan Show, which regularly gets millions of views on YouTube. To build engagement with your audience, you could start to live stream your recordings. Again, using Riverside, you can have listeners call in with their questions and speak directly to your guests or you as hosts. This can also help with growing your community outside of your podcast, which isn't a bad idea either. You can use tools like Circle or Slack to have conversations with your listeners, which will really set you apart from other podcasts out there. So there you go. There's some quick tips on how to make your podcast stand out in 2021. Here's a quick recap of what we discussed. Come up with a unique idea. Make sure you have excellent audio quality. Create a podcast that is shareable. Add additional content to please your audience. Record video as well as audio and live stream your podcast for more engagement. Before you go, we want to hear from you. Leave a comment letting us know what your favourite podcast to listen to is. If you're producing a remote podcast and want to ensure it's recorded in the best possible quality, you should definitely use Riverside.fm. Riverside.fm is a browser-based solution for remote audio and video recording. The quality is independent of the internet connection, making it easy for podcasters to record remote interviews in studio quality. Locally recorded, separate high-quality audio and up to 4K video tracks are included. 
We're going to be producing a bunch more videos on this YouTube channel about podcasting, video interviews and more. So if you want to learn more about starting and growing a podcast, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode. Thanks for watching.